Attorney for Henry Kissinger tells jurors he invested six million in Theranos after meeting Elizabeth Holmes. Six million, dude. That's good shit. That's pretty fucking good shit, dude. I love that. Uh. He was on uh he was on the board. He was on the Theranos board. Dr. Kissinger explained to me that he was on the board of Theranos and it was a very interesting company. He said it would be terrific if you take the time to learn about the company and give me your views on it. Mosley testified that Holmes was looking for high quality families to invest. During his conversations with Holmes, Mosley said he began evaluating a potential investment for himself. I was still looking at it with the intent to tell Dr. Kissinger what I thought about it, Mosley said, adding that he found it to be personally interesting. That's awesome. I mean, that's fire. Not going to lie y'all her black turtleneck girl boss fit means so much to me i copy her look all the time at work <laughs> the thing the problem with elizabeth is is that like first of all she's going to prison for 11 years okay so that's a problem so the the prison baby thing didn't work that well for her like she quite literally for the record I know for a motherfucking fact, okay? I've met Elizabeth. I've met Elizabeth Theranos Holmes, first of all, okay? By way of other uh, friends. We have mutual friends. So that's number one. Number two, I know for a motherfucking fact she had that baby deliberately in the time that she did uh, so that her, uh, her, her sentencing would be uh, lower. That was a sympathy child, okay? Num I'm not even kidding. I'm not lying to you. One million percent. So... That's that's one thing, okay? You're just going to drop that without explaining? Don't worry about it. Do not worry about it. Do not worry about it. First of all, what do you mean what kind of friends? Like, you know, these people fucking have, like, normal friends, okay? It's not like everyone is a scammer. It doesn't work that way. It's not like, oh, dude, uh, Elizabeth Theranos, all of her friends or all of her fucking husband's friends must be all fucking scammers. Like, that's not how that works. Okay? You're so fucking out of touch, Lamau. Wait, what? Normal? Yeah, brother, normal. Like, what, what do you mean? Like, I'm talking like accountants and shit. You know, these people go to college, right? Like, they meet friends and then they have friends of friends from like college. I don't know if you know that. Like, that's what I mean when I say normies, okay? That is such a fucking idiotic uh, assessment that that is like a, a completely uh, out of touch thing. Nah, you're right. I too know the friends of billionaires. What? I'm so glad that people with this level of mental illness are actually going to no longer have an outlet so that the, this Twitch stream will be the outlet for their mental insanity. Like, you can have a degree of separation from people, uh, you know? It's a normal thing. A lot of you probably have that without even recognizing it. It's not like I was fucking hanging out with her every goddamn weekend. One time is how I met her at a friend's birthday party. <sighs> Chatters can't imagine that people on the internet have friends who aren't chronically online yet. Chatters are so fucking delusional that they, they act like uh, degrees of separation do not exist. Well, you know what I mean? They're like, what? I don't have any friends. So how could you have a friend that also knows uh, this, this insane person? Yes, that friend, Henry Kissinger. Exactly. I 
I think the point is that your social circle overlaps with social circles that most of us do not overlap with. Yeah, no shit, brother. I live in California. I live in Los Angeles. I've been living here for 10 fucking years. I'm also, I don't know if you know this, you know, somewhat famous. So there is that as well. And have been in the online entertainment industry for, you know, almost a decade. So there's that. Some of those connections come from that. Others come from just being, uh, just, just going to college, you know? Yeah. I don't know if you guys know this, but I also, like all those other people that you watch on screen when you go to twitch.tv or YouTube, I'm friends with them in real life. I, I know that's going to come across shocking to you. Motherfuckers in the chat are like, What? You know Pokemane? Shut the fuck up, dude. Yo, you're so out of touch, dog. That's crazy. <sighs> like, this might come as a surprise to you, but also, for example, Elon Musk's baby mama, Grimes, okay? She was here on this broadcast. Like, I know her. That's... Yeah. Yeah. Eleven and a quarter. <laughs> Eleven point twenty five years in prison. That's right. Holmes also fined four hundred million. A uh, uh, four hundred million special assessment. Holmes must surrender to custody on April twenty seventh, twenty twenty three. Holmes is expected to appeal. The judge presiding over Holmes's trial and sentencing said the landmark case, one of the most closely watched in Silicon Valley history, should be a cautionary tale for founders who are willing to overhype the capabilities of their products. Yeah, fucking right, dude. Okay, that's a, a silly one, especially considering that, like, everyone's going to jail. Okay? Everyone's going to jail, dog. Everyone's going to jail, motherfucker. I suppose we step back and ask, well, the, uh, what is the pathology of fraud? Is it the refusal to accept, accept responsibility or express contrition in any way, Judge Edward Davila said? Perhaps that is the cautionary tale that will go forward from this case. In letters submitted to the court in support of Holmes, Davila noted that the venture capitalist point to the fact that the startup failures are normal and investors are expected to lose 90% of the money that they invest. One thing that was missing from those letters, the letters did not say anything about, nor did they endorse failure by fraud. Before the sentencing, Davila said that under the U.S. sentencing guideline considerations, the court found Holmes uh, that Holmes should serve between 11.25 years and 14 years in prison. The court's calculation as to the reasonable total loss sustained by the identified victims of the fraud was costing a total of $121 million. On Friday, Holmes 38 appeared uh, for sentencing in the San Jose uh, in the Hold on, sorry. I'm looking something up on the side. Uh, San Jose District Courthouse, where a jury in January found her guilty of three counts of wire fraud and one count of conspiracy. In convicting Holmes, the jury found she lied to investors who fueled roughly $900 million into the biotech venture. $900 mil. Uh, as the Vila read, Holmes sentenced aloud to a pack, out loud to a packed courtroom. The former CEO and one-time Silicon Valley darling was visibly pregnant with her second child in a long black skirt and blazer. Holmes was accompanied in court by her partner, Billy Evans, and her mother, Noelle Holmes. I stand before you taking responsibility for Theranos. I love Theranos. It was my life's work. My team meant the world to me. They wanted to make a difference in the world. I am devastated by my failings. Every day for the past years, I have felt deep pain for the people. Those people who believed in us and those patients. I worked so hard to serve. Bro, what do you mean? You served them nothing. You've served them lies. I worked so hard to serve them lies. I gave everything I had to try and build Theranos. Looking back, there are so many things I would do differently. I tried to realize my dream too quickly. Yeah, no, that's what happened. Moras says I'm a hater. He's sitting in the corner over here saying I'm hating. I'm hating on a girl boss. I, 
You know what it is? It's because I just, it's my hatred for women that I hate to see a girl boss thrive. You know what I mean? That's what's going on here. While Holmes is expected to appeal uh, her sentence, Friday's hearings bring, brings to a close the former Silicon Valley superstar's multi-billion dollar downfall that began in 2003 when, at 19 years old, she dropped out of Stanford University with a dream to democratize healthcare. Why are they still lying about this? No, it was a dream to make money, okay? There was no democratization of healthcare dream there. there that was never a part of the consideration. It's like... Her real dream was just to make money, okay, and rip off people. That's it. Anyway, Holmes' confidant, Ramesh Sunny Balwani, who was her boyfriend at the time she ran Theranos and served as company's president and chief operating officer, was convicted in July 12 of, or, or in July on 12 similar fraud charges. Her sentence, his sentencing is scheduled to happen at a later date. For nearly 15 years, Holmes worked tirelessly to grow the blood testing company. Dazzling investors are pushing for innovative technology. We already saw. However, she and Balwani falsely told investors that Theranos' proprietary blood analyzer could run conventional laboratory tests from a finger stick blood sample of just a few drops of blood rather than the traditionally large volumes taken using traditional vein draws. They also lied and stated the company was profitable and its technology had been comprehensively validated by multiple major pharmaceutical companies. This is, the this real is what happens when you work to change things. And first they think you're crazy, then they fight you, and then all of a sudden you change the world. And this is 8.7 million views. Dude, this is like, I'll just say it, okay? Sometimes incels fucking land on one instance, and they will fucking harp on it, okay? It's like, this kind of seems like one of those moments where it's like people will get like extra unhinged about shit. Even though this is bizarre. And um, I, I have to say, I, I, I personally was shocked to see that the journal would publish something like this. Her voice, her deep baritone voice, was that fake too? According to uh, my sources, uh, it was uh, an employee <laughs> who joined the company in 2011, uh, had a meeting with her shortly after he joined. And um, it was late in the day and, and uh, they were finishing up the meeting and uh, she sort of um, expressed her excitement that he had recently joined, and as she got up, she forgot to put on the baritone and slipped back into a more natural-sounding young woman's voice. Was everything about Elizabeth Holmes a fraud? A lot of it was a lie. She had accidentally used a real voice in public once during a podcast. Listen closely. We already saw this in the video, by the way. It's one of the best parts. No, it hasn't. Well, if I use traditional words to describe what we're doing. <laughs> no, it hasn't. I mean, <laughs> I think it's hard because people then associate it with conventional processes for analyzing drugs and development or whatever. For the record, the voice shouldn't fucking matter. It doesn't, but it also does say a lot about like how she is. Like, yeah, she was doing it. She was doing it to, you know. One could say she was doing it because, uh, you know, it is a male-run, male-dominated industry, and she is trying to fucking, you know, uh, she is trying to to uh, socially engineer her position there. Others will say, well, that's sociopathic. Yeah, yeah. aspects we may be applying our technology to, but no, it hasn't. Well, if I use traditional words. That one's really funny. Top 10 roles that attract psychopaths, CEO, lawyer, media, TV, radio. <gasps> Chill, bro. Salesperson, surgeon. I've done three and four, by the way. Surgeon, journal. Okay, six you could technically. Oh, God. Police officer, clergy person, chef, civil servant. Stop! Bro, I hit like fucking three of these. God damn it, dude. What the fuck? Don't you make your own chicken chef? No, that doesn't fucking count. They're talking. Why are they saying chef? That's wild. All right. Uh, here, speaking of liars, we're going to move away quickly from the Theranos thing. 